That's just a dill pickle. It's not! There's no dill in it! Am I being too harsh? Yeah. Hey everyone, my name is Philip Wang and I'm a co-founder of Bopo Mofo Cafe. Today I'm challenging three foodies to recreate one of our best-selling items, the Taiwanese fried chicken sandwich. Instead of the traditional Western ingredients, we took Taiwanese-inspired flavors and ingredients. We got a traditional salt and pepper chicken breast filet, we got a Thai basil aioli, Napa cabbage slaw, Chinese pickled cucumbers, all on a Chinese bolo bun. Whoever makes the best sandwich will be the winner and will be crowned Bopo Mofo's next head chef. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. They're just gonna get bragging rights and a VIP spot at Bopo Mofo. But first, I'm gonna send them to the cafe to give the original a try. So coming to this challenge, I definitely love food and I do cook a decent amount. I'm a producer on Tasty, but I know I'm not a chef. I've never been to culinary school and I feel like I kind of stay within my lane a lot, but I'm gonna do my best and you know, I'm not afraid to fail. This is my first foodie challenge. Uh, so I'm kind of nervous about that, but I am confident cooking. It's just making it into a challenge. I'm a little nervous for that. I'm definitely more of a low-key chef than the other two people in this challenge, which is kind of scary, but I think it could give me an edge because like everybody loves home cooking and that's kind of all I do. So I feel like it might be okay. We'll do our best. I'm ready to finish it and then we'll see. I'm ready to eat. Let's see what you got. My process was basically read the menu, do my best to match it. I also did spend my birthday making this, so that's commitment, and I feel like I should get an extra point for that. I thought about making my own bun, but I just knew I would not do it justice, so I ended up picking up this bun from a Chinese bakery that I love, so that will probably set me apart, hopefully. I think Phil will definitely like it. I don't know if he will say it's a perfect recreation, but maybe he'll even say that it's better. Oh my gosh. It's mine. It's mine. Oh. Wow. This is very impressive. <laughs> this is good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a little bit heavy on the butter of the bun. I did not put any butter on the bun. Literally what he's tasting is from inside of the bun that I bought. The Thai basil aioli is pretty spot on. All the elements are, re are really nicely, you know, layered. Chicken's well marinated. Carrots and the cabbage are well chopped. This is great. I'm so happy that he noticed how much care I put into cutting those carrots and that cabbage. It took me like 20 minutes. Whoever did this definitely like knows what they're doing. Oh, it's such a lie. There's a lot of effort in here. I'd say this is like 8.5. You could serve this and charge money for it. I feel so good. I came into this thinking I might be leaving crying. I might be getting a lot of constructive criticism, which might have been valid, but he loved it and he's literally taking another bite right now. He didn't even have to do that. He didn't have to take another bite, but he did. <laughs> This is my first time making fried chicken and I think I might have over brined it and overcooked it. So it might be a little dry. So I figured why don't I distract with a drink? So I brought some Vietnamese iced coffee and I didn't want to make a drink that Bopo Mofo sells because Phil would obviously be an expert in how that's supposed to taste, but this is not on the menu yet. I'll add some ice so Phil can have it fresh. Bopo Mofo gets their pineapple buns custom made from this artisanal bakery. So I tried to make my own version but we'll see how my very first time making pineapple buns can compare in the slightest with their very expertly artisanal made buns. It's very rare to have the opportunity to cook for someone that really inspired you in your childhood. So if this is the one time that I get to cook for Phil, I figure I might as well try to make it special. Oh, how cute. Ooh, oh my gosh, and a drink? What? Oh, it comes with a drink. Did you bring that? I Okay. Okay, my chicken's overcooked. A BTS straw? Wow. He noticed the BTS straw. That's so funny. Is this bun made from scratch? It's got a beautiful glaze on it, beautiful texture, beautiful color. Look at that. The pickles look just like pickles. Though. I made those pickles. These look like um, traditional like Western dill pickles. It's literally not. What does a Western pickle look like versus a Chinese pickle? It's just a pickle. They're, they're Slice. Thinner. They're thinner. Western pickles are thinner? No, or the Chinese? ones he used weren't a lot. The ch oh, it's two pieces of chicken. It is not one filet. It's two little chicken tenders. Uh, we cut some corners on the chicken. <laughs> I bought the wrong one. The chicken. Oh no. <laughs> Very salty. 
dense. Oh. <laughs> dense. Oh, okay. It almost feels like um, it was like a microwave chicken tender or something. Let me try the bun by itself. Great bun. Bravo on the bun. Let me try the pickles by itself. Can you, so you can tell. That's just a dill pickle. It's not! There's no dill in it! I like dill pickles, but if we're trying to be true to what we make, that's not correct. Let me try it again. <laughs> My jaw's getting tired. Yeah, I have no defense. Okay, at least he's taking a drink of the coffee to balance it out, because that's why I provided it. Is it Vietnamese coffee? Period! Okay, okay. he knows his sh He knows. I would not pair a espresso coffee drink with a fried chicken sandwich. That's just me, though. Maybe someone would. Why not? I would. I would! I appreciate that they wanted to give me the full set. Like, the drink and the food. Nice thought. Again, bun, 10 out of 10. I would buy this bun. I know you put a lot of effort into this. This is not a reflection of you as a person. This would be a, a negative review on Yelp for us. I would say four. Maybe a five because the bun pushes it up a little bit. The chicken really, yeah, this is, it was really tough. This does kind of feel like when you fail the spelling test in fourth grade and you're just like holding your paper and you're like, Mom, I tried so hard. While I'm like devastated that this chicken was terribly overcooked and tough, I am <laughs> choosing to think positive and hold on to the fact that he said that he would literally buy this bun. So I actually have a recipe that I made myself and tested many, many times a really long time ago. My recipe was for popcorn chicken, so instead of doing popcorn chicken, I just made a whole chicken thigh. I used a different type of bread. I'm using Hawaiian bread. I used some butter lettuce, and then I made kind of a slaw with some red cabbage and golden berries and cherry tomatoes. I'm most proud of the chicken because it's really crispy and it looks really good and it's very nicely seasoned so yeah i'm really proud of that so i think he'll like it i hope so okay oh he looks happy what is that interesting choices we have like a tomato salad here and we have a okay that's the yuzu spicy mayo kind of like a thousand island not awesome. really. Yeah. I'm really disappointed that he's a Thousand Island because I use QP mayo, sriracha, yuzu, Japanese barbecue, like all Asian sauces to oh, mix together. How did he get that thousand is not Island? Thousand Island. I, I'm really confused by that. The fillet might look the most accurate so far. It's enormous. It's so big it has muscles. I'm really proud of my chicken, and he he said it's too big, but like. When would you ever go to a restaurant and complain that your chicken and your chicken sandwich is too True. big? I do commend this person for just going on their own path. <laughs> this is like chaotic evil. <laughs> what? Chaotic evil? The first sandwich was like uh, lawful good. The second sandwich was neutral good. This one was like, oh, I see the assignment. <laughs> I'm gonna change everything. So I was under the impression that we were gonna do our own twist on Phil's sandwich, so that's what I did. I hope he can like put the looks aside because it's a good sandwich. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> really oh. He went in there. I wasn't getting actually a lot of flavor. Put more sauce on there, oh, okay. no. Yeah, I have sauce for you right there. I don't know, maybe it's being all absorbed into this massive bun, which is also breaking apart. I'm pissed for you. I know. Chicken is well cooked, it's it's tender and moist. It's a good crunch. The butter lettuce is completely flavorless because it's butter lettuce. <laughs> okay, to be honest, I only added that for the looks. Yeah. It does look I'll pretty. be honest. And it protects the bun from getting soggy. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't come together that well. I'll meet your chaos with my chaos, okay? I'm gonna make one sandwich, okay? As it should be, okay? And we'll put all the sauce so that you can't say I, I didn't get the flavor. Oh, this is very thick sauce. How's that look, okay? Let's Honestly, it looks good as hell. <laughs> A little all over the place. Again, a little chaotic. That makes you cool too. You're probably pretty cool. Sauce is good though. It's like sweet, tangy, a little tart. This one has chicken that's pretty decent, but a bun that literally disintegrated in my hands. The bun, honestly, I did just use what I had in my pantry. If the other one was, I think a five, then this one might be a four. Am I being too harsh? Yes. I'm very, very disappointed and very sad that he doesn't really like my 
um, recreation of his sandwich. I think you did great. Yeah. He's a harsh critic. He has high standards. He makes a good sandwich. Whatever. I feel like I didn't understand the assignment. I, I honestly, I want to redo. All right. I want to start off by saying everyone did fantastic. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah okay. Okay. After ripping us apart. The winner is Sandwich One. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, the underdog came through today. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Wait, do I get to sit? Oh my gosh, please. Oh my god, well it looks bad now. No, what are you talking about? <laughs> you did fantastic. The chicken was something. It was also oh. my birthday yesterday, and I, I spent know, I, half my birthday making this. I feel so bad that this was not supposed to happen on your birthday. Okay, if I had lost, yeah. I would have said you should feel bad. Okay. But this is a really good ego. Okay, it's honestly okay. the best birthday present. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I think how nervous I was actually paid off because okay. I really put a lot of effort in. So I'm, I'm just really happy that you could tell. I appreciate you just doing such a great job. Thank you no, so much. Thank you. This one was mine. Oh. <laughs> oh. And this is Jasmine's. This is Jasmine's. Got it. Okay, cool. Yours was looked very pleasing. So please explain then. <laughs> um, okay. The chicken. Okay. I bought chicken breast thinking that it was just the filet, but yeah. it was like the tender shape. So when you called out that yeah. it is actually abnormally small, yeah. I felt the same way when I opened it. <laughs> but it was oh, no. too late. I also just wanted to call out that you said that these were dill pickles. They yeah. were! There's not a single bit of dill in there. Okay, I taste the special one now. I but did like, so okay, okay. Now. I will say, Jasmine, of all three, I, uh -huh. your chicken was the best. I did that, say that. See, I, I thought I thought my chicken was really good. Yeah, I tasted it. it. And really I feel like was. you didn't really talk about that. You just kept saying <sighs> how interesting everything was. You didn't really say, wow, this is a good chicken. Mm. You're, Hell you're, him. Right, you're right, you're right. I, I, was, hot. I was too focused on a lot of other dis <laughs> I was distracted. You said a lot of things. <laughs> I, I'm never coming back to this building. I'm like, she's gonna like black this week. I think we all agree that there was one part of each person's sandwich that was the best. So what if we put the best part of each sandwich together and make the perfect Franken sandwich? That's a great idea. The bun from Joelle, Jasmine's, Jasmine's chicken, chicken, and, and the like nine your, your things. Fixings. Okay, yeah. all right. Fun. Yum. 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 There it is. <laughs> The mo 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 That is, that's actually really good too. Now we're all winners. You could hire Fantastic. us. Fantastic. Thank you again to you three ladies for these amazing creations. Thank you to Apop for coming by Bofo Mofo and featuring our menu and our Taiwanese fried chicken sandwich. Come on by anytime in San Gabriel or Artesia to try the original one. Really fun. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank this you. is so much fun.